What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United Grimo. In today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is a home match. It's New Kusu. I don't know why, I don't know what that was. That just came out, I apologise. I don't know if I was trying to do a, a, a Newcastle accent or that was, I don't, I don't, I'm befuddled to be honest. Okay. We have a match against Newcastle away at the Toon, and I think that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to take Toon, but I don't know what happened. Anyway, we do have also another match against Sunderland as well. Now, the last time we versed Sunderland, uh, Newcastle, we ended up drawing 1-1 at Old Trafford. Czech Diokte ended up actually scoring that goal, and um, I can't remember who scored the equaliser for us off the top of my head, but we have our first match in the snow. It's fitting, going all the way to bloody Newcastle. I guess it's not that far from Manchester, um, to be honest, um, but it's still snowing, and uh, unfortunately the clip did cut out early, but obviously when that does happen, it happens sometimes, I don't know, what are you going to do? Um, they didn't render properly. So... Um, it was cut short, but it wasn't even that much of a goal. But I will show like the three replays as I've done here, and um, it was a pretty good header from Robin Van Persie to bring us up. It was a good, uh, nice corner kick a delivery to make it 1-1. And um, <laughs> at this point in the game, I was hoping that I wasn't going to pick up a 1-1 draw against Newcastle again because that would have been absolutely horrific. We did end up winning 5-0 over um, who was it? Burnley and. Uh, Wayne Rooney ended up scoring five goals in that match. Vidal there, I kind of got like, uh, I kind of lost the words in my mouth there, uh, trying to figure out how Vidal missed. And speaking of misses, that was an absolute howl. I was trying to do a double tramp. I went for the triple tramp, and then I ended up just missing absolutely completely. But Falcao finds Robin Van Persie, and with the finesse, he, I don't even know how Taylor managed to save that. But uh, we did... <clears throat> We did uh, let Newcastle come in a very dangerous position there, but we ended up winning 1-0. I had 11 shots, 7 on target, and we kept their shots uh, pretty well down as well. We just didn't take our chances in the match. We probably could have won more than 1-0, but we were playing in the snow for the first time, and I feel that the scoreline re reflected on that. Now, Newcastle are actually doing pretty well in the BPL. They're currently sitting at 4th. Arsenal are still first, so uh, it'll be interesting to see who picks up the title. I've been saying from day dot that in this season, my main objective is top four. If I can get top four in Champions League, Champions League football for next se season, I'll be absolutely happy. And with it, with Kadira and Andre Ayu coming in next season, we'll be able to hopefully strengthen that, and we will need to sign new players. <clears throat> Actually, I wouldn't mind asking now, what players would you like to see next season? The January transfer window is over. Um... Obviously, Falcao is going to be going back to Monaco. I will try and buy him, but I don't even know if we have enough of the budget to actually buy him. We'll try reloaning him, but I don't think he would come back. In real life, he's most likely going to sign, and if not, he would come on a loan. The only reason, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but the only reason that we didn't actually sign Falcao on a permanent permanency was because of the financial fair rule. Um, quote me if I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but I think that's what I heard. Um, that's why we only could get him up on a loan in the dying hours. But we have a penalty here, and it's a penalty on the other end. Um, in the last couple of episodes, uh, I've actually saved three penalties, <laughs> and uh, the tide has changed. Robin Van Persie absolutely belts this one straight down the middle to make it 1-0 against Sunderland. Yeah, David De Gea saved three penalties. Matt Hummels gave away two. I'm not sure if he... He could have even given away three, if I'm mistaken. But to get 1-0 up against Sunderland is a good result. Robin Van Persie with the penalty kick. Wayne Rooney with a shot off there. But Pan Tillimon with a solid save. The Manchester City goalkeeper. And Sunderland do bring one back just before half-time, which is disappointing. But hey, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. Your defense falls apart. And sometimes you just... Can't control it. Ricky, mate, old mate Ricky made it 1-1. But Robin Van Persie threw, <laughs> threw on goal, manages to hit the bar, and that was a very unlucky shot there. But Van Persie was really keen to get his second goal and hopefully get Falcao on the score sheet. But Pan Tillemont was on form in this game with a spectacular save. Falcao with a header from the corner and another pushed uh, pushed ball out by Pan Tillemont. David Alaba finds Ander Herrera, who probably scored the goal of the season in the last episode. And I tried to go again, trying to put in the top right-hand corner. It was absolutely immaculate, that uh, that goal against Leicester into the top right. So I showed the replay then again. But also let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to see a top five goals? Obviously, it's going to be becoming more relevant when we get to the end of the season, all these suggestions. 
But, um, yeah, let me know. But Falcao makes it 2-1 to bring us back in. A nice little cutback goal and quite comfortably booted it on his right foot. And uh, the number nine strikes again. And that's going to be putting him further into the top three goal scorers of the Barclays Premier League. And it'll be interesting to see who actually claims the top goal scorer. Will it be a Manchester United man or will it be another opponent? Because Dumbi is actually going exceptionally well. Robin Van Persie with the Ronaldo chop finds Falcao, brings it back to Van Persie, but he couldn't really get much of a header up on it. And uh, after that second goal from Falcao, he scores his set, he's, well, after that first goal from Falcao, he scores his second here, and it ended up becoming a, a pretty big route. Uh, Falcao making it 3-1 over Sunderland in the 86 minutes, and uh, it looks like, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is getting a little bit strained. Um, Looks like we're going to be going on a route here. And Zaha off the bench scores his second goal for United in this season. And Zaha, what a decision to bring him back from Crystal Palace. Him and Adnan up front, absolutely spectacular. On the first match, he did actually, his first back uh, match back from Crystal Palace, he scored. And he picks up another goal here. So that's really want, that's why I, I really brought Zaha back. I was going to play him. I have been playing him a lot. And he's picked up two goals so far within four or five matches, which is absolutely fantastic. Good goal from Zaha. Can't wait to play with you next season, mate. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel, and there'll be more career mode out tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this. So, guys, this has been Simsy. I'm out. Goodbye, lads.